Hey YouTube fam, welcome to class, welcome to your practice. My name is Serene and I'll be here to guide you through your practice for today. I don't have any props with me, um, but do feel free to grab yours, put them on the side so it's easier for you to use them whenever you feel like you need it, okay? So let's go and start slow for today's practice. We're going to go ground down towards the mat. So um, yeah, just, well actually first of all I want to say thank you to everyone who has been flowing with me in all of my practice here on YouTube. Let me know where you're practicing from. I'm in the Philippines, it's the peak of summer, so it's super, super hot. I actually don't know why, we're, why I'm wearing black. But anyway, let's go and start. Lying down here, take all of your back, head down to the ground. We're gonna go and start with your Supta Baddha Konasana. Step the feet together, knees will open to the side. Reach your hands up and overhead, or hands on opposite elbows, yeah? See what feels good. If this is too much on uh, the hip opening, you can just go and step the feet, maybe at the edges of your mat, and take your knees together, yeah? giving you permission to be yourself in their practice by allowing me to just guide you in some of the poses. But really, what's more important is to navigate how you want to feel in this practice. If you want to feel good, if you want to feel challenged, find some poses that will suit your body and your best ability, really. Finding a few moments to settle in. Just notice how you breathe. Find your own rhythm of the breath here. Or find your ujjayi breath, your victorious breath. But as you inhale and exhale, you'll hear the sound of the ocean. Allow it to trickle at the back of the throat. A moment to ground in gratitude for today's practice. Something that can give you a moment to say thank you to every single thing that is happening in your life right now. May it be going your way, or maybe not. Sometimes the things that don't go your way is actually going your way because it's allowing you to a path that you maybe haven't seen or you didn't really put much of a thinking. But it's really where you should be guided by. So say thank you to the people that you have met, to the places that you have been, the opportunities that you said yes to, and the opportunities that you said no to. Everything in gratitude. Create an intention for today's practice. Something that can guide you to your mindful movement today so that whenever you're called outside of the mat, that your mind is gonna wander off. That's fine, we're human, that happens. But this intention, maybe a mantra, an affirmation, can keep you grounded in your present moment. Not in the past, not in the future, just here. Let's celebrate your today. Let's celebrate your now. For my practice today, my affirmation is, everything is going my way. If that is too big to claim, I am going to rephrase that. Everything will go my way. Inhale through the nose. Out the mouth, let it go. Release your hands onto the side once you're ready. Keep your eyes closer, allow it to, uh, to open if you feel like it's not safe. Take your hands in your outer thighs, pull your knees together. You want to do this slow because it might feel intense, yes? Step the feet onto the sides of the mat, windshield wipers, left and right. Softening the breath, being mindful right now. Take a moment to seep in the breath on all parts of the body that hasn't moved at all. Maybe your back is cracking like now, right now. Maybe you're struggling with the heat if you're at a place where there's no air conditioning. That's fine. Sometimes people like it heated. Come back center once you're ready. Let's go bend that right knee to the heart. Extend the left leg to the top of your mat. Yes. Take your left hand to the left hip. See if you can take that right knee swinging to the side as deep as you can. If the left hip comes up, plug it with the left hand. Yeah. Breathing in. Breathing out. Last two. Just like that one. Again, be mindful. You don't have to be super slow, but you also don't want to be super fast. You want to wake up your body just enough. Come back center, swing it or twist it to the side. Yeah, so this time around, let's see if you can take that 
right knee down to the ground and then reach the right hand. So if the shoulder doesn't connect to the earth, should be fine. Maybe spider finger on that hand to ground it down. Maybe gaze towards your right shoulder or towards that part of the room. One big breath here. Big breath out. See if you want to reach deeper and farther. One more breathing in. Breathing out. Come back center. Take your right knee to the heart and then see if you can clasp your hand onto the right thigh and try to take your heel to the sky. So if it's on a bend, that's fine. If you want to extend it, for sure, as long as your shoulders are relaxed on the mat. Yeah, clockwise and counterclockwise. Making sure you're good. Breathing in, soften the face. Breathing out. Maybe make some spaces between the toe of your right foot to activate your shin and your calf already. One more here. Exhale, bend the knee. Take it to like a half happy baby. So left hand to the left hip it's, if it's already coming up. Pick your fingers on the right big toe. Or if that's not possible, clasp it on the thigh or maybe the outer right foot. Active on the left leg, left knee and left toes pointing to the sky. Inhale through the nose. Out the mouth, let it go. One more, just like that. And then as you exhale, see if you can take that left hand to the right foot, push it in towards your heart. So if this is still early in the practice, you don't have to go super deep. You can swing side to side, up and down, say a prayer, see what feels good again. Inhale, and exhale. Bend onto that left knee, take that right ankle on top of your left knee, left thigh. Thigh. Maybe take a clasp, find your figure four. Inhale through the nose. Out the mouth, let it go. Doesn't have to be super intense, okay? You want to be able to be soft, especially at the first part of the practice. Release your hand, shimmy the left foot to the edge of the mat, and then see if you can plug your knees down. Yes. Maybe you can reach your hands up and overhead. Feeling this nice opening at the front left hip, maybe your IT band too. If this is too much, release the right foot away from the left knee. Inhale. Exhale, release. Come back center. Shimmy the left foot back. Release the right leg. Bend the left knee to the heart. Yeah. Again, stay here. Our right hand to the right hip. Swing it to the side. Breathing in through the nose. Breathing out through the mouth. Or breathing in and breathing out through the nose here always important to notice how you're breathing at some point so you can be aware there's a part of the body that is that is already at the edge of your range of motion see if you want to stay there longer yeah come back center side twist so we're gonna go with your left knee first grounded down if your shoulder is coming up that's fine because what we're gonna do here once your left knee's down you're gonna reach your left hand to the opposite side of the room Maybe gazing at that left thumb, maybe spider finger. Yeah, lengthen as you inhale, drop down as you exhale. One more here. Inhale through the nose. And then slowly let's release. Come back center. This time, let's go and clasp your hands. You're on the thigh. Take it to the side first. Again, stay here or find half happy baby. Victor finger on the big toe or hand on the inner left foot. Pushing it in. Right hand can go down towards your right hip. Activate your right leg. Flex the right foot towards the face. Big breath. Relax the shoulders. Out the mouth. Let it go. Last one. And then release. Yes, come back towards the center. Extend it long. Clockwise and counterclockwise on that left foot. Make some space between the toes of your left foot here. Activate your shin again. Go farther, maybe not. Come towards the calf. See what feels good, yes? One big breath. Stay for the exhale. Finding fluid in every single thing. And then let's go. Pulling in. Take your left hand to the left foot. Maybe your right hand will come. Take it to the heart. Option to swing side to side, up and down. 
find clockwise and counterclockwise even, know which one is more tight or more open than the other. You don't have to go super deep, okay? You don't have to go super intense. What you want to do is honor your body. If this is not good, we're not going to do it at all. Once you're ready, let's go find your figure four. Bend the right knee, left ankle on that right quad, right thigh, press it in. Yeah, I can even shimmy side to side actually here. See, so yeah, it feels good. If you want some more here, left knee away from the body. That's a different kind of a sensation. One big inhale. One big exhale. And then release that foot. Shimmy to the side of the mat. Ground both of your knees. If, this, if it does not connect to the earth, that's fine. As long as you're making sure that everything is as efficient as you can make it. Reach your hands up and overhead if you want. Soften the face, relax the shoulders. If you're always sitting down, if you're always moving, if your work is towards not moving at all, maybe a desk job or always standing or if you're in the front desk, this will feel awesome. You can actually do this in the middle of the day if you have time to move. Come back center, release, shimmy it, release the feet, windshield wipers left and right, yeah? Notice the difference of this one from the first one that we did. It's a little bit more open. You can breathe more into it, yes? <laughs> Once you're ready, go back, knee to your heart, take your hands on a clasp here. Pawan Moktasana swings side to side. And then let's lean into one side, coming into your tabletop, yes? I love this map a lot. <laughs> this is from Peak Performance. Give it a try. Coming into your cat and cow. But this time, let's try. Take your hands a little bit wider than usual. So maybe like just outside of your shoulders. Take your knees a little bit wider than usual as well. You can tuck the toes if you want stability. Yeah. Finding your cat and cow. Open the fingers out wide. Tailbone up. Belly down. Open your heart. Squeeze the shoulder base to the hips. Open the heart. You can bend the elbows here to exaggerate the back bend. And lean forward. Put some weight on your hands. And then exhale around the back. Tuck the tailbone. Pull the belly in. Chin to chest. Widen the shoulder blades away from each other. One more. Inhale to your cow. Exhale, round the back to your cat. Few more. Allowing every part of your breath to seep into all of the parts of your body that needs opening and that needs awareness. Once you're ready for more, let's go and find your barrel roll. So do your cow, tailbone up, open the heart, gaze above, and then right shoulder to the right hip, open the left side body. Come back to your cat, tuck the tailbone, chin to chest, and then left shoulder to the left hip, yes? Now you want to do this a little bit deeper by bending the elbows, protracting and retracting well. You can also close your eyes when you do this. You can go counterclockwise once you feel that you're open and ready. You can also manage to wake up the neck as well. Yeah. Allow the breath to guide you to this flow. Maybe you can put some weight on your knuckle pads and your finger pads also. Last cycle of the breath here. And then slowly, once you're ready, release. Let's wake up your core. Now this time, hand shoulder distance apart. Knees, hip width distance apart. Take your hands, step it a little bit near the shoulder, uh, near the knees. Grounding in, protract the shoulder blades, tuck the toes. And then see if you can lift your knees one or two inches away from the mat. Core active, protract, soften the face, neutral on the neck. You can go and look a little bit forward if you want. Stay for four, three, two, and one. Knees down, untuck the toes. Let's go towards your puppy. So hands forward, maybe take them wide. Chin down if you want, or forehead down. See what feels good. Maybe your heart will ground on the mat if it's possible today. Stay for four, three, two, and one.
release, come back up, plant your hands here, just untuck the toes and sit down at the back of your mat. Grounding on your hips, making sure that you're also opening the pinky toe side of the feet. Clasp your hands, infinity circles. Inhale through the nose, out the mouth, let it go. Very nice. Once you're ready, plant your hands forward. Let's go to your downward facing dog. Bend the knees one by one. Swing the hips side to side. Wake up the body. You have an option to find movement and stillness whenever we take pauses like this one. If you want to go deeper here, what you can do is to lift your heels up. Toes point to one side. So I'm pointing to my right. Ground your heels. Bend the knees here. You're going to feel the right side body open. Maybe spider finger on the right hand. Firm press on the left hand so that you won't collapse. Inhale here. The deeper that you put your hips on your heels, the longer the stretch. Release. Try the other side. So toes will point to the left. Ground the heels. Bend the knees. Dip the hip. Maybe spider finger on the left hand. Firm press on the right hand. Inhale through the nose, out the mouth, let it go. Come back center. Very nice, downward facing dog. Let's find your spinal waves, heels up, ripple forward. Take yourself back. One more, ripple forward, undulate nice. Take yourself back. One more, ripple forward. Take yourself back. This time, heels up, bend the knees, take your seat here. Yeah, hover the knees to the mat, finding some length. If you want, you can go a little bit back, take your knees wider here, pressing in. And then slowly lift your heels, lift your hips, roll forward, plank. And then go back, bend the knees, take your dip. One more, heels up, ripple forward. Take it back, bend the knees to the side, dip the hip to the heels. One last, heels up, ripple forward, bend the knees, take a dip, and then go to your front, to your forward fold. Yes, halfway lift, fold all the way down, Uttanasana, hands on your elbows, swing side to side. Notice the weight on the toes and the edges of each foot, allow it to radiate on all parts of your feet. Once you're ready, stay here at the center and breathe. Hands onto the shins, halfway lift. Exhale, fold down. Bend the knees just a little as you rise. Reach your hands up and overhead. Hands in prayer to the sky and then slowly hands to heart. And then to the side, so I'm asking you shake, 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 making sure nothing is painful. Let's go and find your flow. Clasp your hands here at the back. Roll the shoulders up, back and down. Open your heart, inhale. And then as you exhale, fold all the way down. Bend the knees, bend the hips. Knuckles pointing to the sky or to the top of your mat. This time, we're going to try to bend the left knee. Lift the left heel if you want, and then see if you can tap the left shoulder to the left knee, opening your heart to the right side. Breathing in, breathing out. Come back center, right knee bends, right heel lifts, right shoulder touches the right knee, opening your heart to the left. Inhale through the nose, exhale out through the mouth. Release the knees, ground down, maybe a deeper fold this time. Bend the knees, chair pose, reach your hands up and overhead, inhale. Lift the left foot as you come up to soar. Swing back, warrior three. Find some length and then slowly bend the left knee, super slow, step the right foot, reach your hands up and overhead, breathe in. As you exhale, skandasana to the back. Ground the back heel, bend the right knee, go down, left foot flexes. Breathing in, breathing out. Exhale brings you to warrior two. Open your heart, bend the left knee. Reverse your warrior on your next breath. One big breath. Exhale, extend the front leg. Let's go find a variation of your triangle pose. Left hand down, right hand reach the sky. Gaze follows the right thumb. Inhale. Front some more, close the right eye. Make sure that the, your right fingers are still there. Inhale here. Exhale, release. Right hand down, farther than the left foot. Release the right heel up. 
reverse your skandasana, toes pointing to the left arm, long edge of the mat, gaze follows the left thumb. Big breath here. Big breath out. Look down, find your left big toe. Vick your fingers will ground down there. Lift the hip. See if you can shift your weight to your right hand, right foot. So you can lift the left leg, maybe to a bend, just like a half happy baby, or extend it long. Slight tuck on the tailbone here to find your support on the back. One big breath. Exhale, release that foot. Bend the knee. See if you can go and find your wild thing. Step back. Open the heart. Inhale. Exhale. Release, look down, step the left foot towards the outside on the right side. <laughs> Coming into your fallen triangle, right hand reaches sky or forward. Inhale here, see if you can lift the left foot, bend the left knee, take it to the right quad, find a seat, right hand guards the face. And as all the right hand grounds down, let's go find your figure four downward facing dog. One big breath. Stay for the exhale. Lift the right heel, left knee to the heart tiger curl. Step the left foot in between your hands, rise, superman. Hands in prayer to your heart, shift your weight to your left foot, rise, warrior three. Big breath here, big breath out. Bend both knees, right knee can tap the left calf, shiva squat. And then left hand will go to the mat, right hand reaches sky, find your half moon. Or let's go find your sugar cane. Right hand in the edge of your right foot. Keep opening your heart here to the right side. Big breath here. Exhale, right hand down, standing split. Left hand can go to the left ankle. Gaze back. Crown of your head rooting towards the mat. Inhale. Exhale. One more. Exhale, hands down. Open the heart, bend the knee, step back, forward fold. Uttanasana, shake, shake, shake. Halfway lift, inhale, exhale to fold. Bend the knees, reach your hands up, find an embrace to the sky. Hands in prayer to your heart. And then to the side, Samasthiti. Clasp your hands at the back, let's do that again. Roll the shoulders down and back, open your heart, gaze about. And then slowly fold all the way down. Bound forward fold. Left shoulder, left knee, maybe bend open to the right. And then slowly release. Right knee bends, right shoulder taps, open the heart to the left. Yeah. Go back center. Bend the knees, reach your hands up. Chair pose first. Shift your weight to your right foot. Bend the left knee to the heart. Inhale. Swing back, warrior three. Inhale. Exhale brings you down. Step the left foot, come into your high lunge. Inhale, and then skandasana to the back. Ground that left heel, hip grounds down. Elbow to that left knee, flex the right foot to the face. Breathing in, breathing out. Tall in the spine, and then slowly warrior two. Rebend into the right knee, open up. Breathing in, reverse your warrior. One big breath, triangle pose. Right hand down, left hand reaches sky. Gaze follows the left thumb. Again, maybe you wanna close your left eye. Make sure that your left fingers are still there. In for two. And one, look down. Left hand steps forward, farther than the right foot. Toes will point to the right. Reverse your skandasana, right hand reaches back. Breathing in. Breathing out. Right hand, Victor fingers, find the toes of your right foot, the big toe. Lift the hip, shift your weight to your left foot and the left hand. Maybe come into a half happy baby with your Vashastasana. Extend it long if it's possible, if it's accessible. Big breath here, strong on the bum. Big breath, hop. Release the foot. Let's go, wild thing. Stepping back as slow as you can. Find your heart opener. Inhale here. Exhale up. Release. Look down. Step the right hand. Flip it to your fallen triangle. Right leg, left side, left hand up, or maybe to the front. One big breath. Stay for the exhale. 
See if you can lift the right foot up, bend that knee, find a figure four, and then dip your hip to the left knee, left hand guards the face. Very nice, left hand down. Let's go find your figure four, downward facing dog. Breathing in, breathing out. Lift the left heel, knee to the heart, and then step the right foot in between your hands, come to your superman. Hands reaching forward, and then hands in prayer to your heart. Shift your weight to your right foot, find your warrior three once more. Bend both knees, Shiva squat, left knee taps the right calf. Extend, and then let's go find your standing split. Hands down, oh no, not standing split first, let's go find half moon, right hand to your one o'clock. Left hand to sky, open the heart and the hip to the left side. Option to find your sugar cane. Left hand grounds and binds towards your inner edge of the left foot. Breathing in, breathing out. Now you're standing split. Left leg reaches sky, use your glutes to lift it higher. Right hand can go to the right ankle. Gaze at the back of the mat, crown of your head reaching towards the right big toe. Activate that left leg. Make some space between the toes of your left foot. Very nice. Take your hands down. Halfway lift. Step the left foot beside that right. Shake, shake, shake. Uttanasana. Halfway lift. Inhale. Exhale to fall. Bend the knees. Chair pose. Reach your hands up and overhead. Heart to the thigh. Swing your hands to the back. Open your palms to the sky. Reaching. Urdhva Hastasana. Hands and prayer to your heart and into the side, so the Shake, shake, shake. <laughs> Making sure you're good. A space to breathe. Inhale through the nose. Out the mouth, let something go. Oh. One more, just like that. Breathing in. Breathing out. One more. Let it go. Very nice. <laughs> Once you're ready, Let's do one more. Reach your hands up and overhead, breathing in. Bend elbows, open your heart. Clasp your hands at the back. Roll the shoulders up, back and down. Open your heart. See if you can take your knuckles towards your heels. A quick back bend, clench the glutes, firm the inner thighs, maybe gaze above, and then fold down. Bend the knees, hinge from the hips. Deepest fold here. Heels of the hands together. One more breath. Exhale, bend the knees, bound chair pose. Yes, lift the right heel. See if you can lift both of, all of your right foot. Swing it back like a bound warrior three, but keep a bend on that left knee. Step the right foot back, bound high lunge. One big breath. On your exhale, extend the front leg. Keep firming the inner thighs. See if you can find your Parsvottanasana pyramid pose, folding down to that left knee. Ground onto the left big toe, crown of your head reaching down. One big breath. On your exhale, bend the left knee, bend the right knee to the ground. Unsuck the back toes. Anjane here. Open your heart. Big breath here. Big breath out. Release your bind, reach it up and overhead. This time, left hand down to the ground. If this is not an option, you have your block. Place it here on the left hand. Right hand reaches to the left side. Inhale. And exhale. Come back center. Take both of your hands up. Lift your hips a little. Shift your weight to your right knee. Right toes will point to the back. We're going to take your right hand here to the back. Left hand up, left leg up here. Maybe left hand forward, yes. Come into a Pradigasana or like a variation of your side plank. Oh, one big breath. On your exhale, step the left foot, pointing forward. Go forward here, both of your hands onto the side like a warrior two. See if you can take your hips forward and down. Yeah, big breath here. Big breath out. One more. Slowly release, go back to that right knee. Take your right hand down, left hand reaches sky. An option to stay here if you want some more. You're gonna lift the left leg, bend the left knee, we're going to go and find your hand, maybe to the inner or the outer edge of your left foot, or evict your fingers, yes? We're going to swing it forward, 
Maybe you can find spider finger or your block here on the right hand as you extend that left leg to the sky. Point or flex. See what feels good. In for five, clench your glutes, press it forward. Four, three, two, and one. Swing it forward once more, release that bind, step it forward, roll all the way to the front. Right soles will point to the back, lift the right knee, left leg reaches sky, three-legged dog. Ekapada Chaturanga. Ordva Mukha, Adho Mukha Svanasana. Five deep cycles of your breath. Again, you can come to child's pose, always. Last four. Three, two, and one. Heels up, bend the knees, gaze in between your hands. Find your place. Step, walk up, head stand, hand stand up to you. Halfway lift if you're here already. Or if not, let's meet here. Forward fold, go down. Roots to rise, swing all of your hands, reach up to your sky. Hands and right to your heart. And then to the side, Samasiti. Doing everything on the opposite side, yeah? Hands up and overhead. Bend the elbows, open your heart. Clasp your hands at the back. Again, open your heart, maybe a deeper back bend this side. And then slowly let's fold down. Bend the knees, hinge from the hips, heart to the thighs, knuckles to the front of the mat. Find your bound chair pose. Bend the knees, open your heart forward. Shift your weight to your right foot. Lift the left leg here, and then swing back. Keep a bend on the right knee as you extend that left leg long. Super, super slow. Step the left foot back. High lunge. Breathing in from the inner thighs. Breathing out. Extend the front leg, inhale, and then find your fold. Parsvo Tanasana. If it's wobbly, it's fine. You're doing well. Knuckles point to the sky or just to the back of your mat. Breathing in, breathing out. On your next breath, bend the right knee, drop the left knee down, untuck the back toes, Anjane. Find your adjustment here. Open the heart, maybe a deeper back bend this time. Big breath here, big breath out. Release your hands up and overhead, inhale. And then slowly, again, if you have a block, place it here for your right hand to ground down or spider finger or maybe all of your palms if that's possible today. Left hand reaches sky and then slowly towards the right side. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, deeper. Last one. And then slowly release. Come back center here. Shift your weight to your left foot. Uh, left knee, left toes will point to the left side. Slowly left hand will go to the back, right hand to sky. See if you lift the right leg up, right hand reaches forward. Big breath here. Clench the glutes, big breath up. Very nice. Step the right foot, toes will point to the front. Go back to that Padagasana. Bend the right knee, take your hips forward and down. One big breath. Exhale to stay. One more, heart open. And then release. Go back to the back of the mat. Left hand down, right hand reaches sky. Lift the right foot. Yes, you can bend the right knee or take it forward. Victor fingers will go to the right big toe or maybe hand on the inner or outer edge of your foot. We're gonna go and find that extension right there. So clench the glutes, maybe spider finger on your left hand. See if that's better. In for three. Two. Last one, you got this. And then release. Swing it forward, swing it to the front of your mat. We're gonna bloom all the way to your low lunge. Left toes will go tuck, lift the left knee, swing back, three like a dog. Inhale, Ekapada Chaturanga, exhale. Or Vamukashvanasana. Add Homokashvanasana. Big inhale through the nose. Out the mouth. Let it go. Let's rinse. Heels up. Ripple forward. Go a little bit farther than the wrists. 
Go back. And homuka. One more. Ripple forward. Take yourself back. One last. Ripple forward. Bend the knees to a hover. And then ground it down. Untuck the toes. Land on your seat. Yes. Close your eyes here for a few moments. Just notice how you breathe. That was good. If your heart is beating fast, give yourself a moment to just nourish this energy that you have right now. If you haven't practiced in a while, I bet this is one thing that you were planning on getting in this practice. Give yourself permission to say thank you to your amazing body for cultivating this energy, for allowing you to do what you want, to do what you need. Gratitude for everything that is happening around you even because it, you made yourself here to show up in your practice. Everything went on its way so you can take time here and show up and move mindfully and breathe and just take care of yourself. Once you're ready, open your eyes, reach your hands up and overhead. Bend elbows, clasp your hands at the back once more. Take your clasp hands to the right side, ribs, right side hip. Roll the shoulders down and back, yes. And then slowly take your right ear to the right shoulder. You can nod a yes if you want, but do it slow. Nod a no too. Inhale. Exhale. Release. Clasp hands on the left side hip. Relax the shoulders down and back, left ear, left shoulder. Not a yes, not a no. Breathing in, breathing out. Come back center, release your hands forward, cross your ankles at the back, and then slowly find yourself on your Bhanakonasana. Step the feet together, maybe shimmy your weight towards the center. Knees onto the side, clasp your hands on the toes. Roll the shoulders down and back. Lift the crown of your head up to the sky. Exhale, fold down. Elbows can come towards the inner thighs, inner knees, or go down to the mat. You have an option to keep a long spine by reaching your heart forward. Or just fold down, curve the back. Maybe your chin will press to the chest. Slowing down on the breath. Rooting back on the intentions you've set up for today's practice. Everything is going my way. In through the nose. Out the mouth, let it go. Lift the gaze. Come back, center. Hands towards your knees. Pull them in. Send both of your legs to the front here. Hands up and overhead. Inhale. Fold down, Paschimottanasana. So feet and hands can go and take a bind. See what feels good. If it does not connect, that's good also. Maybe if you're here, hands can go to the outer edges of each foot. Pull your pinky toes towards the face. If you have your bind with you, come and bind at the bottoms of the feet. Lengthen as you inhale and fold down as you exhale. Strong on the quads to, su to support and protect your hams. Strong on the shins to support and protect your calves. Reach your heart forward. Last four. Three. Two. And one. Go back center. Release. Let's go find your reverse plank. Toes pointing forward, fingertips pointing forward. Roll the shoulders down and back, bend the elbows. Slight tuck on the tailbone and then lift. Inhale for one. Exhale, release. Fold down, yes. Bend the right knee, take it to the center, yes. Bend the left knee here. We're gonna grab your left foot here, pulling in. Swing side to side, see what feels good. I'm gonna go here just so you can see me better, yeah? You know what's going to happen. We're going to find your compass here. Right hand, outer edge of your left foot. Left hand will go down underneath your left thigh. Your left bum can come up here. You can also find a block or a blanket there. Spider fingers or palm down. Yes. Stay here. If you want somewhere, we're going to go and try to extend that left leg. Flex or point. See what feels good. You want to peel that right shoulder open. 
Okay, so is the sky. Yeah, this is one variation. Some um, yogis also do it with their left bum down. See if that's an option for you too. Stay for three, two, and one. Go back to your center, bend that knee, push it towards the front. We're gonna go and find double pigeon, left ankle on top of your right knee, push them towards each other, yeah? Inhale, it doesn't usually go here, it's supposed to like flat down, so what I do is I lean forward, I take my forearms down. If you have more here, you can reach forward with your hands as you take your heart towards your left leg. Stay for five, four, three, two, and one. Go back center, take your hands at the back, unravel, unbind, windshield wipers, left and right, yeah? Breathing in, breathing out. Very nice. Once you're ready, let's do everything on the opposite side. Left foot, left leg in front of you. Grab your right foot here towards the center. You can actually like do what we did earlier when you were like lying down, opening the hip. If you have that already, right hand will go underneath your right thigh, right bum can come up. Spider finger all of your palm. Left foot, outer right, left hand, outer right foot, yes. Open up the heart, gaze follows the sky. Peel that left shoulder open, open the heart here. That's the one thing that you wanna do. Lengthen the left side body, maybe right bum and right palm is down. Point or flex the foot, see what feels good. Stay for four, three, soften the face, two, and one. Release, bend that knee, double tension. Right ankle, left knee. Lengthen or fold. Take your forearms down or take it to the ground. And stay for five, four, three, two, and one. Open the eyes. <laughs> Take yourself back. Step the feet wide. Windshield wipers left and right. Once you're ready, let's go and take a seat here, coming into your Sukhasana. <laughs> let's close your practice today. Take your hands on your knees, lift the crown of your head up, option to keep gazing forward, or close your eyes here for a few moments. And just again, give yourself space to celebrate this mindful movement that you have done for yourself. Wherever you're practicing for, we're deeply connected and how we deeply embodied how it is to be open, to be free, to be mindful, to be capable, to be strong. Everything is going my way. Everything will go my way. Let's connect today. If you have your own practice, inhale deep and exhale and om. Inhale. Oh. Take your hands in a prayer, Anjali to the heart center, bow down as if gazing into your own heart. The divine light within me bows down to the divine light within you. Namaste. Open your eyes and we're done. Thank you so much for practicing with me today. Let me know how that went. I hope that was fun for you as well. Ken, it's the peak of the summer right now. If you're practicing with me here, it's nice to be on shorts. I am on my leggings. I don't know why, but yeah, <laughs> this mat is also good. Um, yeah, let me know how the practice went. Comment down below. 
Let me know if there's anything that you want to um, practice. Let me know if there's anything that you found confusing or weird. You can also message me on Instagram. I can answer you the best way I can. I have a broadcast channel there for those who want to suggest something, a theme that they want in here. So yeah, thank you. See you on the next video.